All right, Senior, Mac, or Halloran. How does that sound, Senior? I mean, it sounds pretty crazy. Just like first, I mean, just four years of high school just flew by and to hear the just senior year came up. And I mean, it's just been really wild and I'm just excited for the senior year. What are you going to miss most about playing at DGS? I'm definitely going to miss just the fans and the culture of the team and just how close we are and having just all the fans and how supportive they are, even after we're at away games. I mean, they're there for us and it's just really awesome to see. Speaking of away games, they were out in force at the Wheaton North game. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the Wheaton North game, not quite the outcome that you guys were hoping for, but you're playing against a defending state champion. What were your thoughts going into that game? I mean, I knew it was definitely going to be a challenge. They had a lot a lot ready on their backs, obviously being defending state champions, but they had a lot of guys, a lot of new guys playing. So I, I definitely, we were looking to win that game. And I mean, obviously it's upsetting that we didn't, but we just got to learn and bounce back for this next week. That game, you played a lot of different positions. Yeah. <laughs> um, how, how was that? And, you know, first game out, and you haven't played with that kind of intensity at practice, obviously. How was that trying to play both sides of the ball and special teams? I mean, at first, it kind of hit me where I was like, whoa, I'm a little, a little tired at first. And once I got the adrenaline going, it was just, I was able to just kind of push past it. And just, I really just wanted to be out there and just help out in any way. Was there a favorite point of the game or a favorite play that you had? Definitely uh, Will's interception. Uh, that was a big play. I got really, I mean, really excited then when I saw that. And I mean, it was a big turning point for us where I thought we could maybe end up getting back in the game. And it was just really awesome to see that. What kind of pressure do you feel with the coaches looking at you to play both sides of the ball, looking at you for kickoffs, looking at you in special teams and different areas? What kind mm -hmm. of pressure does that put on you? I mean, definitely there's a lot of pressure. I feel it. I mean, just it's uh, there's going to be eyes on me no matter what I'm doing. And I have to, I understand that. And it's just, yeah, a lot of pressure. How are you coping with that? Um, it's just, I just can't think about it when I start playing in the game. It's just, I can't be thinking about what's going on outside of, outside of that game, I'd say, or outside of the play that's happening. I just need to focus on the play and then focus on the next play. Do you read about yourself or read some of the things that are on social media? Yeah, I do. I mean, it's hard not to when you're 17, 18 years old and you see someone post about you and like, I don't know, news article it's I mean it's really it's kind of cool to see it so I'd say yes does that add any additional pressure to you I'd say yes just because I mean my are the names out there so I mean people other people are reading about you so they're also expecting expecting what you expect out of yourself so and you have some uh, interest from division one schools you have um, lots of different choices that and lots of things that uh, are happening right now for you and a lot of the things to consider what position would you like to play in college? I mean, I tell this to every coach who asks me is just, I just want to hit people in college. I don't care if it's if it's on the D-line, I get to hit people there. If I'm playing tight end, I get to hit people. I just, football is just a fun game. I Honestly, there's no preference. Of where you play? No. And you're just happy to be out there. And exactly. Keep, and keep playing. So speaking of being out there, you missed a couple of games last season due to, due to a shoulder injury and you were back in full force, what did you do to prepare for your for this season? I mean, a lot of just rehab and doing training with uh, Mrs. Steph, our trainer. She helped me out a lot with the as well as Athletico. I mean, they really helped me out a lot. I was doing PT five six times a week, so PT was a big part of it. And then I ran track just to get kind of just get some kind of competitive sport going because I mean I missed it obviously. So it was really nice to just get out there and compete. And that brings up another great point. What was your track season like and the experience with it, going down state and meddling at state? I mean, it was really awesome. Just, I mean, those guys I ran with, I've known my whole life. So uh, for us to get that chance to go down to state and meddle in state was just really cool. And the, all the time we put in, even during school, we'd, we'd go out, like if I was still in school when they were already out because of graduation, I'd like leave class just to go, I mean, just practice with them. I mean, it was just really awesome just for that to see it pay off. Did you ever see yourself being a member of a four by one? No, I did not. Going into it, I was just really hoping to just get faster. And then when I kind of started to realize after that first meet, I was like, I can maybe be a part of this four by one team that we're playing on Southern State. And I ended up being a part of it. It was interesting from my point of view because I could hear people seeing this big guy <laughs> down and you are don't uh, obviously not the typical size that you would see with a, a 100 runner right. and the comments that we're making and and the buzz around you was pretty exciting to mm -hmm. to hear as well. So what do you think that you're most looking forward to this year? 
definitely most looking forward to as far as football. I mean, getting out there, playing Dodgers North. Willowbrook's a big game for us this year, I think. It's our homecoming game and it's our conference championship game. And I'm really looking to put up a number on that board. Downstairs in our weight room, we always talk about putting up another number, a conference championship, and that's what I'm really looking forward to. Well, we are excited to see what's going to happen and uh, watching you hit a few people this Thank season. You. So best of luck. Thank you.